Well, it was on tax and development, so I thought that was right up my alley. And uh, yeah, and that's, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff coming out of IDS, so I thought that was exciting to start with. And then I guess it, just the appeal of meeting lots of people from all over the place, from yeah, different countries, different backgrounds, uh, different experience and things, I thought was a great opportunity. Tax and development is one of the key issues I, I do follow in the day-to-day -day work of mine. As a journalist, uh, there are quite a variety of areas which you know uh, tend to pick up. Journalists in my country tend to run for other things like politics, sports, or whatsoever. But all along in my writing, taxation issues has been always my focus. I happen to be um, a business writer, and particularly I follow um, um, uh, economic issues and finance, where of course you know tax you know uh, belongs. We are part of the Tax Just Network Africa. Uh, but the depth of capacity for civil society engagement in tax because it's relative the new is quite low uh, and I've attended one or two other training but when I saw the advert for IDS and I have a lot of colleagues who have been through IDS training I felt that this was something I should so I applied for it and there was a bit about scholarship for three people and I also said well let me cast in my lot with the justification and so I applied for it to be part of it to gain capacity to uh, identify and of course when I saw the the multinational and multi-sectoral uh, component of those that are being invited, I felt it was an opportunity to learn in such an environment. And the scholarship, of course, because for civil society, funding is usually a challenge. Uh, an opportunity to be funded, to be part, was a good. So that's why I applied, and uh, I'm glad I was part of it. I think uh, understanding some of the history around, uh, for example, the uh, creation of the model uh, double taxation treaties was fascinating because I think when you're coming at it from a accountancy practitioner perspective the focus is very much on uh, what's the law and how do we apply it and actually understanding some of the historical background and why the law is the way it is and you know how it can actually be completely different if uh, if people choose to uh, you know, make different contracts, make different treaties. Uh, it's just quite exciting to see that possibility. Of all the issues that we've uh, gone through, there are two things which I think have made me so happy. One is the subnational taxation. Uh, we have uh, a constitution that was passed in my country that gave the role of uh, budget making to parliament, to legislature which was not the case before, until around uh, 2010. So now we have a problem. The, the, same, consti the same constitution and the enabling laws uh, makes, it, uh, makes it a requirement that there are transfers which go to the counties, our subnational government are counties. So when uh, what is transferred is about minimum 15%. It can be any, it can be any percentage, but it must be it, the lowest, the, the floor is 15% of the revenue. Now, the, the counties are supposed to also collect revenue. So the issue of sub-national sub uh, revenue, I mean taxation, uh, was very critical for me because now I will be able to, to be advising the Senate Committee on Finance on how they can encourage the the counties to generate more more revenue as a way of uh, 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 promoting development at those levels. The second one uh, is the issue of uh, extractive extractive uh, resources. W what is happening is that um, oil was discovered in Kenya uh, about uh, four years ago. Uh, that is, and uh, the exploration uh, and now exploitation is being done by t Tula. It's a it's a, a UK it's a UK oil exploration company. And um, the debate that has been going on is uh, how how the oil resources are going to benefit the whole country. How those resources, how, how the revenue that is going to come from there is not going. I mean, how it can be managed in a manner that it would not bring uh, the oil cast, the, the, the non-oil cast, 
and there are also a lot of mineral resources which have been discovered. So I was just looking at it and saying, okay, maybe I'm the I'm the one who is now going to preach uh, this good gospel on how to get maximum revenue from uh, the oil resources and all these other extractive uh, resources. So yes, this course is very important to me that, you know, when I get back home, I will not only utilize this knowledge which I've gained here, but I will try to go a step further to also entice some journalists who have interest in it. I know it's difficult, you know, people will just listen for something, but then the words can go from one year to another, and then it just goes, you know, uh, blah. But um, I hope that, you know, the few will be able to listen to my words will be better. I would say that the link um, between tax or sort of linking tax and governance very closely. I mean, we've always worked with tax and governance as sort of part of the same thing, but this was, there was a slightly new angle to this, which was linking it even closer than we maybe do it. Um, and I think just um, input from people working in revenue authorities in Africa was very useful as well. And, I th and then some of the information that we got um, on the international taxation was, uh, was extremely useful, and that will come in very usefully when I'm uh, doing sort of work on international taxation. And it'll be immensely helpful. I mean, just having a, uh, a different perspective on issues of, say, international taxation, uh, local government taxation, just being able to come at that from the viewpoint of uh, people who are doing this work for revenue authorities in the field on a day-to-day -day basis just alerts you to so many uh, difficulties and sensitivities that I think it's it's just very hard to appreciate from... Uh, just reading articles or uh, uh, reading books and uh, talking to people on the phone, you know, actually sort of sitting down and discussing the detail with people is fantastic. <laughs>